Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Moran and Max and Honda. Uh, here today, this is our first in a series of videos uh, we're going to do about different ways to care for your motorcycle, different trends, uh, things that people are doing to their motorcycles. Uh, the trend we're going to address today is one that seems to be increasing in popularity and is kind of concerning to us, and that is putting a car tire on your motorcycle. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of grumbling out there uh, for people uh, who maybe do this that we're just trying to sell you tires. Well, the fact is, is if we wanted to sell automobile tires uh, and put them on a motorcycle, uh, we could pick up a phone and have the car tires here tomorrow. Uh, we don't do that, and it's out of concern for our customer safety. I'm here with uh, Dan Myers today. Uh, he's our service manager, and he's gonna explain uh, some of the differences between a motorcycle tire and a car tire. Uh, the difference in car tires and motorcycle tires, internal structure, build of the tires are very, very similar. However, the differences stop there when you get to the outside of the tire. The car tire, of course, is constructed very flat, a lot wider. You have a lot more contact patch area on the ground. Of course, you have four, four wheels on the ground on a car, whereas with a bike you have two. When a car turns, it doesn't lose much of its contact patch because all four wheels are on the ground and the suspension is constructed to, uh, to, to allow that. Motorcycle, on the other hand, you're running on two tires. The outside of the tire is a lot more round, and you have less contact patch on the ground. Same is true when you turn the bike. However, in turning the bike with the motorcycle tire, you don't feel the transition from the center of the tire to the edge. The transition is smooth, the tire grips, and it's exactly what it's made to do, so you don't feel any of the turn on the bike. Car tire, however, when you turn, if you have a car tire on the rear of your motorcycle, you're going to lose all of this surface area that was on the concrete. As this, as this tire lifts, you can actually feel the tire lifting from the ground and getting up on the edge of the tire. Or on the motorcycle, it's a very smooth transition and you don't lose very much of your contact patch at all. It's an unnerving feeling if you've ever ridden a motorcycle, and I have on a couple of occasions with car tires on the back, to feel that tire leave the ground, and it just feels like you've lost some control over the motorcycle. In a wet or a slippery condition, well, this could be a concern. It's a concern for us with our customers. We don't want to see anybody get hurt doing a, a hobby or something they love to do, which is riding motorcycles. The tires are going to wear on a motorcycle a lot quicker than what you're going to get on a car. The compounds on the car tire is a lot harder, a lot stiffer material, or on a bike they're a lot softer. When we install tires here, we install nitrogen in the tires, which helps the life of the tire, and it doesn't bleed down near as fast as compressed air does. Life on these motorcycle tires is, is hinders very much on keeping your tire pressure consistent, getting a good ride on the bike and a smooth feel on the tire so that you get even wear all the way across. All right, guys. Um... Again, we're not trying to tell anyone what to do here. Uh, it's your motorcycle, it's your money. Uh, you know, this is a free country, and uh, you're going to do what you want. We just want to make sure that everybody has the information, uh, you know, the facts of, about the difference between the motorcycle tire and the car tire, and uh, why we don't think it's a, it's a good idea. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call us at 1-800-856-1226, or 972 359 Check us out at MaximumHonda.net uh, and you can look us up on Facebook, just Maxim Honda. Uh, thanks and have a great day.